Okay, question nine. Uh, looks like a bit of algebra for us. Uh, so part A, uh, k is equal to seven and m minus k is equal to four. Work out the value of nine k minus six m. Right, okay. So they're telling me that m minus k is equal to four. Uh, but k, they're also telling me, is 7. So m minus 7, then, is equal to 4. So to get m by itself, I can say m is equal to 4, and then add 7 to both sides is equal to 4 plus 7 is 11. OK, so that's that. And then work out the value of 9k minus 6m so 9k so they've told me what k is so i can put 7 directly in there minus 6m and now i know what m is from over here uh, so that's 9 7 is 63 minus 66 is equal to 3 so that's the answer that they're looking for <clears throat> Right, part B, factorize fully uh, the following equation. Okay, so let's look for some factors here. Uh, so AX, AY. So I've got an A there that I could use. So I could divide two into both of those. I could divide four into both of those. Let's see. four i think yeah so four will go into both of those so let's start drawing this up uh what about the x so i've got a 14 and i've got a seven right so i think seven will go into both of those twice okay so two x outside of four a minus seven b uh, plus y outside of 4a minus 7b, which would give me 2x plus y 4a minus 7b. I think that's it. So 2x. You can go back and check then if you wish with foil. So first by first, 2x by 4x is 8ax. Uh, the outside, 2x by 7b is 14bx. Yeah, that's OK. Inside, y by 4ay. And last one is y by 7b, 7by. Yeah, so that works. OK, so that's all we can do with that. Factorize it fully. Do they want me to do any more with that? Can I do any more with that? No. OK. So that's OK, part C. Write the following as a single fraction in its simplest form. Right, so if you look at these two denominators, uh, you can easily work out that they don't divide into each other. Uh, so the LCD of those denominators is going to be the product of them. So it's going to be 2x plus 1 multiplied by 3x plus 5. Okay, so we're going to say 3x plus 5 by 2 all over 2x plus 1. And this is actually going to be multiplied on both sides of the line here, uh, minus uh, 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, 3, all over 3x plus 5. Uh, so using the distributive property, you're going to get 6x plus 10. Uh, all over 3x plus 5, 2x plus 1. Uh, now, this is a minus 3, so I'm going to change this. So 
um, subtraction is basically addition and negation of the sign. So for example, five minus four is the same thing as, oh, sorry. is the same thing as five plus minus four. So we want to use the same principle here. So I'm gonna say plus minus three multiplied by two, which is six X and minus three multiplied by one is minus three. All over three X plus five and two uh, X plus one. So because these two denominators are the same, we're basically just doing uh, the simplification of the numerator. So the two six X's are gonna cancel each other out. I'll just write it for posterity, uh, plus 10 minus three, all over three X plus five, 2x plus 1, which will give you, these two will cancel each other out. So you're going to be left with 7 all over 3x plus 5 multiplied by 2x plus 1. So you can't really simple that, simplify that anymore, so I'm going to leave it like that. So there's your answer. Okay, so part D. I solve the equation, uh, the, this one here, uh, and give your answer correct to two decimal places. Now, the fact that it's saying that suggests that when I factorize this, it isn't going to give me a nice handy answer. And that is true just by looking at it. So it means I'm going to have to use the minus B formula. So the standard minus B, B squared, minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so this part here, let me just change the color here for a second. So this part here, I'm gonna turn into something called theta just for convenience here. And I'm gonna calculate that. Okay, so let's do that. So theta is b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so this is going to be a, b, c. So first part is uh, 49, 7 sevens is 49. Uh, next part is minus four multiplied by two multiplied by minus three. Okay. So 49, four twos are eight, three twenty four. So that's gonna give me an answer of 73, which is greater than zero. So we're gonna have two answers here. So x1 and x2 are going to be equal to minus b plus or minus theta all over the standard 2a, okay? So x1 is going to be minus b plus so that's going to give me seven plus the root of 73 all over 2a which is 4. So when I calculate that out, I'm going to get 
eight nine on my calculator. That's to do the two decimal places. And for two, x two, this is going to be minus b minus the square root of theta all over two a. So that's going to be seven minus the square root of seventy three all over four which is going to give me an answer of negative 39. So those are my answers for, for x. Those are my two answers for x. Okay.